a point guard is usually going to be the shortest player on the team. They're not going to take a lot of shots. A point guard is more of a facilitator. The coach is making the plays. The coach is sending in what play they're going to run. But it's the point guard's responsibility to make sure the ball gets to the player it needs to be to so that player can score. When basketball is being done right, it's because you have a lot of good ball movement. And when missions is being done right, people are not looking out for what can I do, but how can we all work together? When MRN first began, we were a team training ministry. Today, we're not receiving calls from mission teams as much as we are individual couples who want to do something significant with their life. You know, we've settled into what is very typical. I'm a teacher and Richard's a physical therapist. We went on a short-term mission trip and out of that, we started to feel that this was something that we could do on a more long-term basis. The Belton Church came to a point where we were uh, saying, what's the next thing for us? What, where are we going? What, what are we doing? Probably four or five years ago, we, we decided to think hard about our what is our plan? What is our strategy? Reaching lost people needed to be what everything we did was about. We had some work that we are doing in India, and we have been doing it, I think, in a very small scale. And we wanted to do it in a larger scale, but we didn't know how. What each country needs, uh, each nation needs, is its own leaders who are grounded biblically, but trained in spiritual leadership. If you've grown up in the region, you'd know your own country and your own region best. Missionary endeavor can be really a lonely enterprise. I don't know how anybody does it without cultivating really valuable partnerships. MRN, from its beginning, has been very open to working with other mission groups. Missiology, church health, good leadership, all those things are part of the whole. It's foolish to work at them separate, in silos. Once we made the commitment that full-time missions is what we wanted to do, we began a process with MRN that we were put together with other couples, other families. It's still important to be prepared whenever you start something new. And so we've envisioned an idea called cohort ministry training. We've taken the training we've done with mission teams and we've used new online educational models. We are training and equipping churches alongside their missionaries that they're sending out. One of the big things that we implemented that has really changed the way that we do mission work here at Ovilla is we have a mutual accountability with uh, the missionaries. The missionaries know what's going on here just as we know what's going on over there. And we have really worked to make our relationship with the church in Cebu one of equality. We still train missionaries. We will probably always train missionaries, and by that I mean North American missionaries. But what we're beginning to see now is that we need to shift and be an equipper for international churches to evangelize their own parts of the world and then for Americans to come alongside them as supporters. We asked them, what are your needs? What, if we came, what could we help with? And they all agreed they wanted to learn how to study the Bible more effectively. The church equipping labs that MRN does is essentially what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing church equipping there and helping the leaders discover what they can do to strengthen their churches. The vision for the global church is going to come from the global church. They can go places we can't go. They can do things we cannot do. And it's done in what we call a global launch site church, which is an international church that's becoming the ground for launching out missionaries into their region of the world. So we said that as a church that is trying to do this and don't know how maybe learning from these guys and then can help us even to do more than a little bit that we have already started doing. It's gonna require somebody who can create the linkage between the American churches and the international churches that's what we're trying to do. But as we begin to talk to churches uh, about being on mission with God globally, they begin to say, well, what you're talking about is not just about what we do over there in that other country. It's about what we need to do locally here. Missions is everywhere around you. And, you know, MRN really has, has encouraged us to think that way. And again, to think outside the box of what missions really is. They've come in and provided a pathway with some mentoring, with some coaching, uh, with leadership training. We help them walk through their values and their vision and to begin to see opportunities to reach out in their neighborhoods, maybe in unique ways and new ways. 
We're making disciples at the crossroads of the world. Explaining strategy and our approach to missions to them, they get it. We were designed from the beginning to equip churches and help them find their role and be excellent sending churches and have a vision that was shaped around the mission of God. We were designed from the very beginning to do missionary care and have done missionary care from the very beginning. Then when things happen, being there for them at those specific times is very, very important. But it's not just MRN does this. What MRN wants to do is to empower churches to be more sensitive to their missionaries so that churches can provide their own missionary care. Because you can equip very good missionaries and put them out on the field. And if you've got a dysfunctional church supporting them, uh, it doesn't have a real bright future. Church equipping, missionary care, missionary training, networking, it really all overlaps. It's basically just about helping people. One of the ideas that came up in all this is, is the idea of planting churches. And we're seeing already God giving us a fresh vision and fresh mission in our community. And we're creating more opportunities for people just to sign up and, and just to go wherever it is, wherever they're called to go. MRN, uh, you know, uh, is about empowering people, not being so territorial, but just empowering other people. And I just love that spirit. MRN really was a valuable partner, helping us on the development side and really helping us think about the kind of leadership that is needed to begin to mobilize missionaries uh, working in cities. MRN has done a really good job of helping us know what to expect and helping us to know that we can't know everything, but to use the talents that God has given us to lead people to Him. I couldn't more highly recommend MRN, the resources, the people, uh, the experience, the imagination that they can help you. That's one of the things I love about working with MRN, our board and our team and all of our partners. Uh, we try to be very forward thinking. We're not afraid to do something different and new if we feel that it's biblically based. Because of that, I think it's always had great potential for the whole fellowship. I think it's fascinating to see that there are Christians all over the world with a great ambition in the kingdom. They want to reach the region. There's a base we need to launch out. And I think that's one of the things they are helping us as their global launch site. I don't know of uh, any church in Singapore today that's led by Americans. Uh, I think we've come to the point where the local leaders have stepped into some kind of role and are making the best of what they know. We live in a world of either adapt or die and collaborate or die. We're not in control. We're not calling the plays, but we are distributing the ball. We can't be successful unless we're empowering other people to be successful. It is a network. It is a, a family. It is a team. It's been very helpful to us to have Missions Resource Network uh, to call on. We've just had a really good working relationship and anticipate having a great working relationship with MRN in the future. I get really excited about all aspects of our work. I mean, you want to bring up any one of those four areas and I can start telling you stories about what's so exciting and fulfilling about it. What it really boils down to, though, is seeing people capture a vision for how they fit into God's work.